practicing God's Word is what builds a foundation in God, not just reading His Word. James chapter 1, verse 23 tells us, do not merely listen to the Word of God and deceive yourself, but do what, be a doer. Do exactly what He says. And think about this. He says when we do that, we're blessed in all we do. I want to encourage you to live a blessed life, and we're going to talk about that right now. Check it out. Be sure to subscribe and press alert to get new notifications of new success secrets made available on VFN TV. Exciting, exciting stuff. Um, had some um, abiding moments and just love when God just speaks to you in his words. Yes. And um, I am so grateful for the opportunity to abide. Yes. <laughs> like, man, my goodness. Well, you know, I was reading in um, Matthew mm -hmm. about building on the right foundation. And there's two type of builders uh, that are out there. And uh, you, you need to find out which one you want to be. <laughs> Just because you're building uh, don't mean you're the right. No, 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 no. What if you are a building? Does that? No, no, oh, that, oh. That, that doesn't work either. Okay. But, you know. What if you have a big mortgage on the building? <laughs> <laughs> Isn't that more godly? Yeah. No, okay. No, 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 right. I don't know about that. But you think about it. It's, it's the implemented and practiced word of God. What you, it's not about what you just hear. But it's, it's what you implement and what you're practicing in your life that actually stands and builds foundation. It's so important because a lot of people, you can get into a place where you just listen. Even listening to us on, on the radio or seeing us on TV, we, you, you know, God's word is alive when you, you read it. It stirs your faith up. But faith is so that you can do, not so that you can just hear alone because faith without works is dead. Right. You want to hear it and uh -huh. do something with what you hear, implement it in your life. So you can listen to 10,000 messages. You can be in revival. Every single day. Oh, yes. Seen it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Every day for years. And not change your life. Because you, you got to put God's word into practice. And, you know, you look at folks and you see people's lives and relationships. And you see businesses. You see even, you know, different organizations. Th things happen. Mm -hmm. And you see destruction. Because nothing was built on the right foundation. And Matthew 7. This is really interesting. Matthew 7 is a parable about... Building, you know, wise and, and foolish builders. Now, I'll read your verse of scripture. Verse 24 says that everyone who hears these words of mine and puts them into practice is like a wise man who built his house on a rock. Think about that. Everyone who hears these words, God's words, and puts them into practice. So it's not just hearing. It's about implementing and practicing mm. the word of God. You mean just showing up and hearing it again? That was, you know, that was so good. Isn't that amazing? I'm going to come back next week. I'm going to hear it again. Hear it again. As again. Fact, I'm going to buy a CD and a download. I'm going to hear it all week. That was so good. I'm going to hear it again. Right? And again. And again. And again. It makes me think about, you know, hear, hear. Ooh. Ooh, do. Yeah. All that stuff. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And, and think about it. There's never been a, a time in history when you look at all the different types of publications, books, videos so you just get it on demand 24 hours seven days a week of of good christian literature i mean messages the word of god shared here, and here. preached i mean it's everywhere uh -huh. but what has that produced do we see the fruit of that has it right. been in the deepening of anyone's you know life and and walk because just like i said it's not about reading or doing and i love what james says in uh chapter 1 verse 22 says do not merely listen to the word of god and so deceive yourselves you can listen and totally be deceived, which really underscores what we've been talking about. But do what it says. Mm -hmm. Do what it says. And it's interesting. And Mark Twain said, it's not the scriptures that I don't understand that give me the biggest problems. It's the scriptures that I do understand. You know right. what I'm saying? It's like, right. like we mentioned this on the previous program. It's not that complicated. No. You know, God's word says this is what we do. Right. And this is what we don't do. Right. And by the grace of God, we humble ourselves and say, God, I just want to implement this word. I want this word because God's word is living. It's active. It's sharper than a double-edged sword. I want to implement it in my life. I want to see this walk out. And let me tell you, just live a little while. Mm -hmm. Storms will come. There's something about storms, you know. It, right. Just live a little bit. You have relationship storms. Right. You have economic storms. Mm -hmm. You have all kind of physical storms. Right. And you really don't know what you've been building on until storm the storm hits. comes right tested by the fire right everything yeah, no. will be tested by the fire. and it's better to have one brick on a right foundation 
Yes. Then have a, a stucco facade, if you will. You know what I'm saying? Nothing against nothing stucco. against stucco. I've seen some nice stucco out there. Yeah. Nothing against stucco, but built on sand. Right. Because these things will happen. I mean, Jesus said, "In this life, you will have troubles." That's right. But cheer up, because I've overcome the world. Mm-hmm. And it, I'm telling you, there's never been a, a greater time than today mm-hmm. than to begin making Jesus the Lord of your life. And what, why, when you do that, you abide, you spend time with him, you read his word because you want to know what the lover of your heart has to say. Right. And you want to see how you can implement it and practice it in your life. Right. It just doesn't happen. You can hear you can hear everything, but unless you put what you hear into practice, it's not, it's not going to produce anything. The seed has to go down into your heart and you have to make room for God. Mm-hmm. It reminds me of the words God. of Jesus when he said, if you follow my teachings, then you're really... That's a big word. My yes, disciple. Right. And then really, it's like, oh, that means a not really people. Mm-hmm, There's some mm-hmm. not really folks. You yeah. think about it, right? Yeah. That's and it's like building in it. If yeah. I actually know his teaching and follow it, I'm building mm-hmm. on him, right? Yes, absolutely. Wow. And you can build a lot of things, but it, but <laughs> it will be tested and it will be tried. How many folks are literally building a wing onto a building and they're thinking, if we just build this other room on if we just build physically yeah while inside they're dying dying while inside they don't have a personal relationship with jesus christ or they know him at a distance and they're like everything's falling apart and the mm-hmm. storms storms going to hit you whether you're prepared or not let me tell you something yeah. this is a clue if 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 you're saying to yourself if i've missed one gathering yeah. i've missed a lot i haven't heard right. from god that, that's a clue right because if, if your ability to connect with God happens one day a week at yes. a specific place at a specific time, right. that's a clue that you're in trouble. Right. You know what mm-hmm. I mean? Mm-hmm. It's a clue to recognize, hey, I can meet with God every single day of my life. Right. And I just, I love abiding. I just love God's word. It's nothing like the word of God. You right. know, I think he has this thing down. You know what I mean? Right. I think he has it down. And um, even you see, you talk about how sharp it is, and it's a double edged sword, but it even penetrates our thought life. Mm. It lets you know that this is the right thought or wrong thought. And it's like, if we don't have God's word, we're building, but we're maybe building a fall on a false foundation because we're not building, we didn't allow his word to come into our hearts and minds to help us mm-hmm. understand that the rock is Jesus and building on the rock that you'll stand. And everything's going to be sprinkled with with fire. The the thought of the fire. Everything's going to be tested. That's a sad, sad yeah. day. And I've I know you've had, we've been across many tables and many meetings, only to find people to find out at that moment mm-hmm. that all their life they've been building on something that just was right. not stable. And it's just, right. and, and you know what? You can avoid tomorrow's regrets today by saying, you know what? I'm going to find out what I've been building. I'm going to do an inspection, a building mm-hmm. inspection, and evaluate. Where is the truth and the word of God mm-hmm. in what I am giving my life to and establishing right. and pouring over and scrap it. It's okay to start again. Well, mm-hmm. it makes me think of Zig Ziglar, you know, in the last parts of his life and he's gone to be the Lord now. And, uh, he said, I no longer schedule my mm. life based on time. I schedule it based on energy. Mm. Wow. And when you really get focused and you want to make a difference in God and you want to, you want to do what he's asking of you to do and what he's leading you to do, mm-hmm. it's going to require energy. And the enemy will take a person who has good intentions, who want, who's living their life for God and wants to do the best they can for God in view of his mercy and because of his grace, and give you a whole bunch of things that could be defined as hay, wood, and stubble. Mm-hmm. You know, And it's like, man, look at that hay. Yeah, hay. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> look at the stubble, and you're just so busy. But when the fire comes, that's just going to be burned up, and the only thing you have left is what you built upon Jesus. And so you know, we began to pray early on because of how much energy it takes in this limited thing called a vapor mm-hmm. to, 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 to give it all to God. And he's like, I don't want to waste any energy. You know, forget about time. Cause everybody's got 24 hours. The question is, what are you doing with the energy you had in that time? For real. And so we prayed, dear God, you know, take away the hay wood and stubble now, mm-hmm. take it away now, whatever it is, take it away now. <laughs> we were surprised. Whoa. Okay. <laughs> hey. Oh, that too. It's, it's like I've done, hey. Hey. <laughs> hey. You know, it's like, that's hey? That's wood? That's stubble? <laughs> I mean, think about it. That's right. And it's like, but the energy, everything that you're, you're focusing your energy on is producing something. Mm-hmm. And so, um, so when you think about that, yeah, you're building. So building is finding out, making Jesus Christ the Lord of your life, but then finding out what, how he says to live our life and 
how he empowers us to do that through the empowerment when he finished working on the cross. But then out of that compelling love to say, you know what? I'm going to begin to walk this thing out. It's a love letter. You know, God's, yeah. God's word is a love letter to right. you. And don't you want to know what the lover of your heart, the lover of your soul has to say? Right. You know, and, and, and it's, you know, Proverbs says that a wise man, a wise woman gives thought to their ways. Yeah, and, what a concept. What mm-hmm. a concept. You know, we should always be living with an awareness of, you know, God, where am I today? You know, reveal yourself to me. That's why it's also important to have these quality relationships in your life with other people that are going after God. The Word of God says that as iron sharpens iron, so one brother sharpens another. And we need to find out if our knives are still sharp or have we become dull. Mm. And one of the ways we know that is, are we spending the time with God? And what does that mean? I'm not saying in a religious, you know, schedule got in and I got to read two verses and okay, check the mark off. But it's really, what's your most important meeting of the day? You're going to expend, you know, a certain amount of hours and energy at work, in relationships, communication, right. talking, emails, Facebook, 45 minutes a day, by the way, wow. to study. Where are you going to give your most important energy? What's your most important meeting of the day? Right. And you're thinking, planning that moment out, it makes me think about you know, this, this, prof- this is a profound statement because uh, if, if you really soak on this, it'll change your life. But... A lack of planning on your behalf mm. does mm. not dictate an emergency on my behalf. <laughs> and so often you could be living your life and paying attention to the season that's passing so quickly so you could do everything for God when you have other people that fly by the seat of their pants who don't get in God's word, who don't spend time in prayer and, and, and trying to, to, to follow God in that way. And they're constantly in a storm. They're constantly in a fire. Mm-hmm. Things are falling apart. And all of a sudden they bring their storm to you and they look at you and it's like, you know, how come you don't see this as an emergency? It's like, that's just a lack of planning. You just did not think it through. Right. Mm-hmm. You didn't think it through. And uh, you, sh- you can listen, but you can begin today that you can even have be cheerful in storms if you actually build on the rock, build on Jesus Christ, because these storms will come. And he talks specifically, too, and not too well about those who don't build on the rock. It's like building on the sand. Everything you're building is building on the sand. And, and we're practicing. It's practicing the Word of God, those that yeah. practice what the Lord says, which is pretty good because doctors, by the way, just because you don't know this, mm. they practice medicine. They look at you confidently. Mm-hmm. They speak their doubt and disclaimers in small print. But the truth is that they actually practice medicine. And they may get it right and they may get it wrong. And sad to say, right now in America, the ones that get it wrong, I've noticed that they don't tell you they get it wrong. Right. Mm-hmm. But um, because they're practicing medicine, they're not God. And they're doing their best, hopefully, you know, and, um, uh, and with that, you're looking, he just wants us to, pr- he wants us to practice the things practice. of God and view of his mercy and because of his grace. And that's somebody who's building on the rock, right? That's right. I mean, you want, you want to practice the word of God, practice on love. That's right. That's building a right relationship in love. Mm-hmm. You want to practice your, you know, right relationship with God and with others in business. You want to read wisdom. Proverbs is full of wisdom on, right. on implementing God's knowledge and truth into your everyday life. Right. But if we don't do that, I mean, even James continues to say that anyone who listens to the word but does not do what it says is like a man who looks at his face in the mirror and after looking at himself goes away and immediately forgets what he looks like. Mm-hmm. It's completely useless. Why look in the mirror if you're going to forget what, what you look like? Right. It's about listening and activating right. God's word in your life. Laying down a foundation that remains. And blessed in all you do. Be sure to subscribe and press alert to get new notifications of new success secrets made available on VFN TV. You know, a lot of people want to abide with the Lord, but they just don't have a plan to do it. You can request that plan today at iabide.org. I'm your host, Greg Lancaster, and we're so glad that you've joined us. Don't forget you can join us 24 hours a day, seven days a week. Download our app and sign up for our newsletter, The Torch, at vfntv.com. I've enjoyed our time together. God bless.